वेलकम बैक टू मैथ इजी एवरी वन दिस वीडियो इज फॉलोइंग वीडियो टू पॉलिनोमियल लॉन्ग डिविजन एंड वी विल अगेन सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन ऑन पॉलिनोमियल लॉन्ग डिविजन टू स्टार्ट पॉलिनोमियल लॉन्ग डिविजन आई विल रिकमेंड यू गो एंड वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन दैट सो लेट सी वॉट डू वी हैव हेयर फोर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टी नाइन एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स प्लस नाइन अगेन द फर्स्ट थिंग वी वॉन्ट टू डू इज चेक If this is written in a standard form, we have a power of two followed by the power of one and a constant. So yes, this is in a standard form. And then you want to quickly check that none of the terms are missing. You have the term with the power of two, the power of one, and then a constant. So nothing is missing. Now we'll start the process of long division. So what do we want to do? The first thing we want to do is look at our first terms of dividend and divisor which is 4x squared and x what should be multiplied with x to get 4x squared what can i do here so i know that the coefficient of x is 1 because there is no number we can assume it is 1 and we multiply that by 4 to get 4 but how many x's do we need i need to multiply this 4 with another x to get 4x squared so let's see 1x times 4x gives us 4x squared all right so what we can do now is we will just go ahead and put an x there multiply 4x with x and put down 4x squared under 4x squared and we need to also remember not to forget about multiplying the second term which is 9 with 4x Why do we do that? Since four x is multiplied by x, it should also be multiplied by the term, which is with x positive nine. Nine times four x will give us thirty six x. So we will now write the terms four x squared and thirty six x. All right. The most common error here is uh, when students forget about putting the terms under the like terms. x squared should be written under x squared and x should be written under the x term the next step in polynomial division is to subtract just like normal division we are going to put a subtraction sign now what does a subtraction sign do it flips the sign of your term what does that mean so see we have a positive and a negative positive and a negative becomes negative and then again we have positive and negative which will become negative okay so i have i will just go ahead erase that for simplification and put the flipped sign 4x squared minus 4x squared becomes 0 39x minus 36x becomes positive 3x and then we can borrow positive 27 all right now we want to divide 3x with x x times how much gives us 3x we need to figure that out So x times just three will give us three x, and then we want to remember we want to multiply nine with three, which will give us twenty seven. So we'll multiply nine with three, which will give us positive twenty seven. And when you are multiplying, I will recommend take a pause and check your sign, please. More than often, we forget to put the correct sign. Positive twenty seven. Now we follow with subtraction, and what does subtraction do? Yes, you are correct. It flips the sign. So we are gonna just, for the sake of simplicity, circle it, flip the sign. The positive term becomes negative, and again, positive and negative makes it a negative term. That's correct. And now we will subtract positive three x minus three x gives us zero. We can cancel them out, and again positive twenty seven and negative twenty seven gives us zero. So our remainder here is zero. When we write the answer to polynomial division, it is written as quotient plus remainder over divisor. Now again in this case the remainder is just zero, so we don't really have to write it down. We can just go ahead and write down the quotient. which is 4x plus 3 box it up and we are done i hope you like this video and it makes it helpful for you to divide the polynomials if you like this video don't forget to like it um subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more math related videos bye for now